y'all, KMB the Sex Ninja, aka Pop. I'm Flix. And we have something special that Flix has brought to the table. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to be doing a candy tasting of the Sweetheart Ropes. We got all glare there. Oh, yeah, right. there we Sweetheart go. Ropes, the Wonder Woman ones from the movie that should have come out by now. Um, you should bring up your good point about the expiration. Yeah, no, it's funny because like you look at the back of the expiration date, it's it's it might actually be expired by the time the movie comes out. <laughs> so eat them now, I guess. Yeah, this is it makes me sad though. I wanted this movie so bad right now. I didn't really care. I know we've had we had this discussion. Well, I that, I wanted this more than Black Widow though. It is weird that both theaters decided to come out with strong female empowerment movies in the same year. Then COVID nineteen is like no. <laughs> All the more reason to think that somebody else intentionally released it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's dig in. Have you had um, Sweetheart Ropes before? I love Sweetheart Ropes. Cherries are my favorite. This one's Tropical Punch? Yeah. Yours the same one too? Yeah, same one. They're, it's not like they use... It's, it's Tropical Prunch Punch because it's Wonder Woman Golden Orange or whatever. Hmm. Not bad. I always thought it was so funny. Yes. How come they couldn't call them, like, Amazon Punch or Themyscira Punch? Because nobody would get that second one. People, like, a million people could watch that movie. A million people have Paradise Punch. Because she's not on Themyscira in the next movie. I know, but... It's not the Wonder Woman. Wonder Punch. <laughs> sounds too much like a sex act. <laughs> hey, you want some of this Wonder Punch? Hmm. These are good. I always thought it was funny that like sweet tarts are normally like that little chalk hard candies, mm. but their ropes are just the softest things. I know, but they still have that little bit of chalkiness. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still so good. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I have Snapchat, but I don't feel necessarily like any will to be like, I want to Snapchat this, because that's no. a little... Unleash your super self. You know, if they had a rope of this long enough to be held as a lasso, I would probably try to eat it. You know, that would be terrible, though, because I'd probably be like, you know what? Just sitting there while playing a game. <laughs> you going to eat dinner? Nope. I'm working on the lasso. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Do you, do you remember... Uh, the small... lasso punch. Again, sounds like a sex act. <laughs> um, no, but do you remember Small Soldiers? Yeah, the the commercial that they have for the toys, and like they talk and they're like, wait, do they do that? Can they talk and move on the oh, right? Yeah. And like, it's it's I think it's Dennis Leary, and he just has this rant on how commercials are BS because they give you this unrealistic expectation of the product. So if it does something in the commercial, he wants to do it. Well, if it's long enough for Wonder Woman to use as this, unless Wonder Woman's this big. <laughs> BS. <laughs> but that would have been a great marketing ploy, though. You know how they have the big versions of candy? They're like, here's the lasso, but it's all sweet tarts, so ruin your teeth. <laughs> and your stomach. And your wallet. But sadly, we would try it. Oh, God, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we would. <laughs> so, I like it. I think it's good. I'm, I, I wish I had a more... Wonder Woman name instead of Tropical Punch. I like how our issues are not in any way with the food itself. <laughs> just with the wrapping pack. This is the problem with nerds. <laughs> As they look at something and they're like, it's totally functional. It does what it's supposed to do. But here's some marketing issues with the it. The name! <laughs> well, they do call it Golden Ropes, too. Mm, not good enough. Oh. Truth Ropes. Truth Ropes. <laughs> <laughs> True Thropes. <laughs> That's what that turns into. <laughs> or, uh, was there only one of these? Yeah. There wasn't one for Cheetah? No. I mean, not that I saw. Hmm. And that's the thing is, like, this seemed kind of like a one-off thing, which is why I bought it. I saw it, and I'm like, huh, I don't know how long they would do this for. But well, look, um, I like it. If you like these, you'll love... <laughs> you'll love other ones that are the same thing, just a slightly different flavor. Cherry. Hmm. But, yep. Now, now, but that. now I am tempted to do this um, Snapchat thing with to get the, to unleash my Wonder Woman. 
I love how you start out half the conversations we have with, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Well, I might do this. I think I'm going to do the this. The marketing. Like, it's on the front. I'm like, ah, oh, it's stupid. Then I see it on the back. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, never mind. <laughs> well, like it? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's not the greatest candy in the world, but for a, for a movie candy, I think it's fine. This would be awesome to take to the theater, too. Yeah, when, when those reopen. Yeah, unless they don't let us in with these. You know, <laughs> I think that if there was a place to sell them, it would be in the theater. If, hey, if there's a place to sell the giant lasso... <laughs> Maybe this is where they came from. Mm, no. <laughs> Harkens off. Sell them to Walmart. Where'd you get them from? Uh, Safeway. Safeway. Yeah, sell them to Safeway. <laughs> I don't know. I I just think that it's a marketing thing currently that well, that they made them. Because think about it, you don't you don't produce a bunch of things for a movie and then just go. Well, the movie comes out in two weeks. Let's start producing on it. Well, it's months and months and months before. Well, Top Gun toys are out. Yeah, I um, wanted to talk to you about that actually. Something something in my brain came up with if they're making Top Gun Maverick to be a sequel to Top Gun. Does that mean sometime soon we're going to get day, more Days of Thunder? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, um, it, it, it's truth, though. It's very true about marketing. They're already putting out the Black Widow toys. They're already putting out the Black Widow Pops and yeah. Wonder Woman Pops, and these movies are pushed back to whenever. But it's because those things were had to be done beforehand. Like, yeah. you, you plan them out well before. Um, and thank you, George Lucas, for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how things go now. No. I mean, we also live in a very... But think how smart he was. He was, he was well, um... But we're also in a very consumerist society, so if you don't do it, you're just leaving money on the table that could be made for doing stuff like that. That's why that's why pop figures are such a big thing. And it's because no matter who you are, there is some form of pop figure that speaks to you. Mm-hmm. They have former presidents. They have Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Like, who needs a Ruth Bader Ginsburg pop? Um, I got the wife Speaking yet. of, I hope she's okay. <laughs> I got the wife ESD. Stephen King pop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just like, oh, they make a pop figure of, like, authors now? Well, he's a very popular one. Yeah. I was trying to find a James Patterson pop, you know. <laughs> hmm. Wow, I'm like, I have, like, four left. I still have quite a few left. I'm, I'm taking my time on these guys. I, that's the thing about candy. Give me a can. Mm. I got bought a big box of uh, air, Airheads. Mm-hmm. Gone in, like, a week. Less than a week. My teeth aren't as good as they used to be, so I try to... Mine ain't either. So every bite was like... Uh, towards the end, I was like... Oh, so good. Either way. Um, so, yeah. Maybe we'll do mo- more movie tie-in candies. Movie tie-in candies? Or we could go pop hunting. Mm. I'll have time here soon. The, the Probably problem, no money for it. Just, well, also, the problem with it is that a lot of places aren't really like... We live in a place that doesn't have a lot of them. We'd have to go to a different city <laughs> to have fun with that. And during the middle of a pandemic to go to a different city, that seems a little more difficult than what we should be putting up. It'd be really lame, too, because we'd be like, hey, guys, we're rolling up to the store that we can't go into. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're rolling up to do our <laughs> online pick <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to hunt to make sure we get the right ones. <laughs> well, there you go. Get your uh, Wonder Woman, Sweet Tarts, Golden Ropes. Still a bad name. Tropical Punch. At your stores now. I hope. Huh. Like, I mean, we're the only town that. Yeah, got that them. would be the funniest thing if if we just get letters all over. Like, where did you get those? <laughs> They're supposed them. to be out yet. <laughs> we get sued. We get sued. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That'd be a fun uh, a fun trial to go through. I know. We like pull this footage up. Like, it was that safe way. <laughs> but um, yeah. So get your candy. I'm KMB the Sexy Ninja, aka Pop. And I'm Flicks. Like and subscribe. Do it now. Go get your candy. We'll wait.